guys, so we're off to Loudham Caravans. Um, going to get you some photos inside. We might be struggling to film going round because, as you can see, it's an extremely wet day. It's going to be uh, just a quick vlog this one. Yeah, just a quick look around. Um, we're not particularly looking for one ourselves. We oh, will don't say know. that. I don't say that. Okay. This I'll... is a right old jalopy. Yeah, but she's our jalopy. My mum calls it Battle Van. We're out in Battle Van. Either I mean, way. We have an idea, we do want a motorhome eventually, and we have an idea of the layout that we want. The main downside to this van, and to be, to be fair, the only downside is having to get the bed in and out. That is the most annoying thing I have ever known in my entire life. Of course we work for a living, government take all the spare money in tax. Yeah, we, we pay an awful lot of tax. So we've got, so to, we've got if, to save and save and save before we can have a If we stop paying home. tax, we'll be able to buy a motorhome next month. Yes. <laughs> Robin. Robin. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so this is um, us on our way now to Loudons. So we'll see you when we get there, guys. just to show you this one i don't think we can get in it you but you've got the step side. things look to be able for the bed and i think they pop out wow. yeah. so you've got an upstairs in the pop top that's there you've got your seating area here I'm sneaking up i think you've got a single bed at the back there oh no it turns into a double by the looks of it because this comes down shower room. to turn it into a double shower room there's no price on this van but it is pretty cool and then it's your burners here there. it's got a plate on the top of the plate yeah so. but i just think that is pretty cool with the you proper to steps to get in you want to look at the steps now you're just asking me to break a leg. Break a leg. Well, we're doing it for viewers, aren't we? Is that where it is, James? Yeah, James will be getting up next time. But even your cab area, look at that. USB ports. That is pretty epic. And you guys, it's a Heimer. It's a Heimer body in a Mercedes cab. Yeah. That one's just coming in, it's a waiting prep. These are the smaller ones. 21 plate at 60 set at nine. Twenty-one plate fifty-four. And these are your top ones, look. Now I think I obviously I'm biased because I've never had a pop top. We've done camping and I've got a horrible feeling that that would be just like sleeping in a tent. I'm probably wrong and I'm going to get comments saying you're wrong, but I, I just can't see how sleeping up there is any different from sleeping in a tent and it'd be cold. And I'm a niche person, in case nobody's... In the end, yeah, adventures, we're, we're on an adventure, love. We're on a permanent adventure. Life... Life is an adventure. Isn't that a nice plant? We're not here to look at plants. We're here to look at caravans. Right, we're going to go inside, guys, and have a look around. What van is this? It's a Ford. Is it Chasso or Chasson on the back? So this is one of those that's got the... Drop-down bed. Drop-down bed on it. It is. Plus, obviously, you've got your seating and your chairs kitchen, that your turn kitchen around. space is quite good on this, because... You've got all this workspace, it's quite a lot. And it looks really, really modern. This is bigger than, because it's a small van. 
Yeah, it is, isn't it? there's more room I'm in this bit... small van than where the other one that but we just looked like, at. like, you've got... I know there's this garage behind, but you've got, like, all of this space that could be seating. That should be nice. That should control panel. Yeah, I think so. You'd like that one. I'd rather have the drop down bed than. Your awning pole. And that's all your details on that one, guys. Yeah, so four transit, four berths, four seat belts, pay road, and all your details are on there. And it's the titanium ultimate. Oh, so this is the Mercedes, it's an A-class. Plenty of room, just a quick one. So this one's up at 151,500. Beautiful finish on it. You've got a super king size bed. I'm doing this video because she's getting a bit shy and you can't be like that when you're doing YouTube, can you? That's the bathroom. I mean, definitely livable, two people. Big shower, not very much privacy though. Three room cooker, bit of a kitchen area. And it's on the uh, Mercedes running gear. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, it's 151,000, a lot of money. A lot of people spend that on a car. So that's the Hymer with the Mercedes running. So it's an Ima body, so that's lovely. Gorgeous, and we've got these stunning things. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Some people pay 150 grand for a decent car, don't they? We've got an old home there for the same price. I'm going to show you inside this one if I can. That is lovely, that. Always me a bit on that away. Will it rust in the British weather? Wow. I don't know. Very rocket ship, should I say? It does look nice. Not my thing, I don't think, inside. It just look really kitchen and cool on the outside. And a smaller one at 85 grand. There's ropes on these, you can't go in them. Obviously, it'll be, uh, yeah, they do look cool, look really cool. I mean, what do you tow it with? Big truck or big engine car? I don't know, you tell me. But that is gorgeous, that is. That one is better than the bigger one. So this is like another one of the A-class ones, Malibu, guys, but it's a Malibu. So there's no price on it, obviously. There isn't. But... Double floor with the biggest storage compartment in the class. So it looks like you can fit bottles and stuff in there. Okay. So it's on a Fiat. Oh, it's a Fiat. It is. Fiat Malibu. And you've got extra seating area, which to be fair, that seems better because you've got like an L and the thing. You've got the drop down bed from the top. I'll just pull it down. You have. Okay. You've got your kitchen area fridge and a freezer by the looks of that. It's a nice finish but it's and then You've got... <laughs> and didn't Fiat used to call them little Chicocento stuff like Malibu? I've no idea yeah, look. It's a better build quality than them. It looks a nice build quality look. Well, doesn't it? And then it, by the looks of it, so you get a TV on the wall here and this slides across to shut your bedroom off. Just listen to this guys, just listen to this. When I shut this door, Build quality. It's good build quality. Say that again, love. I'll point it at your belly. You better not have been. <laughs> These put me off a bit. A bit cheap and nasty. But yeah. Apart from bits of plastic we've got, build quality on doors, not bad. Fridge opens both ways. So if you're this side and you're in bed and you want a can of Coke or a pint of milk. I don't know why I want a pint of milk in bed, but there you are. And look where it opens that way. That is pretty cool. If you're living room. That's your freezer. There's quite a lot of room in that. Yeah, have we got microwave? Doesn't look got like it. Telly. 
there'd be a hidden microwave somewhere to be in my cupboards. Possibly. So. Lots of storage. Really Lots really of storage. Quality. Looks like they've tried to use then, all the you space. You look at the bottom where it's peeling there and ask yourself why. Why do they make things good quality and on other things not so much? Coffee machine. Coffee <laughs> machine built in. I'm just that's what bugs me with these. They do all this nice stuff so it's top top drawer and then they it gets spoiled by a bit of cheap trim. Lots of storage and obviously because the bed's higher, you've got all the storage underneath as well for your garage. You have. Is this a on the car licence this or is it uh, No, I, it, it's going to be above three and a half ton, isn't it love? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's an A class. Right. So on that note guys, we're going to go and take you outside to see some that we might actually be able to afford this side of 50 years time. Come outside guys, we're going to head this way. We're not going to go in all of the vans because obviously it, there's a lot and it's wet and that isn't fair on dragging mud and everything inside. We just want to give you an idea of the sort of price ranges that you're going to be looking at um, and so what sort of things. If you're going to spend 69, 70 grand on a panel van, but then you can spend 69, 70 grand on a motor home with more room. I mean, this one's, this one's a 66 plate, so how old's that? Seven year old. So seven year old is 50 grand. It's sleeping berth for two, but there's seat belts for four. There is. This so, so we'll have a look inside this one. On we will. Side. It's all gravelled out here, so it's not too bad at all. You've obviously got your garage and everything at the back. As you go inside, two steps to get up. So think about buying a... So this is the layout that I was trying to talk James into, but it's not got the above bed. So you've got the two seats and obviously your seating area. But or, this bed, like, is, is the most strangest contraption I've ever known. So it pulls out. Two single beds that pull forward to make it into, like, a super king size. But... When me and James are in bed, we sleep on opposite sides of the bed every day, obviously. Unless we're having snuggles. Well, I, no, I'm not, I'm not going to describe how, what you could do with that. Look. Well, we could fall over it and bang your head. There's steps to get up. Oh, were you thinking rude? I wasn't thinking You're rude at dirt. all. Girl filled. You've got fridge, freezer. That's quite a nice size fridge, to be fair. Again, nice it's, size fridge. It's, again, though, it's still not the layout that we was looking for. Well, no, because you've got nowhere to relax in the living area, yeah. have you, really? In our ideal layout, guys, so, yeah. is an above bed cab, either no seating at the back and the kitchen at the back, or a seating area at the back that you can turn into it, and then, obviously, the seating also at the front. Yes. So, you've got the toilet and the shower in one, you have. Not sure where the shower head is. So it's seven year old and it's sort of starting to discolour on plastic. I've lost the shower head, love. But the tap might come out, maybe. No. No, this. <gasps> there you are. That's your shower. And oh then my it God, opens people. into Already? a big shower area. And you've got your shower in. That is really cool. And that is pretty cool. It is. It's for I'm seven glad year I... old. I don't think it's in bad condition. I'm glad I found that. They could do away with these neck curtain things they keep putting on them because they're just annoying. I mean, they don't block out any light. They don't really do anything, do they? They just look crap. You know, what happens if that? I turn that? That is uh, to make the shower area bigger. <gasps> Shall we buy a van, love? No, I don't, I don't like the layout, but I do like the fact that there's all these little things on. I, mean, I think it's going to be comfortable. It's nicely finished as well. This suede's nice. It's quite comfortable. It I don't is. Now it's just the where, do, where do you relax? You have to go to bed. Because to of the fixed bed area, that's why you can't relax. Whereas if you had a drop down top, it'd be nice to have like I've seen on some of them where you pull the middle bit forward out and then just put your seat in bit at middle and that's it. That's it. Because ours are such a such well, a. Well, it's just that you like cushions a particular. James, way. when was the last time you made the bed up? It's a lot brighter than our van. I, I will go back to the note that it's a nightmare to make up. So this is just over 50,000. 
it is for a seven year old van and obviously it's got all the trinkets and stuff that you'd expect. Is that a good price people? Well, you know, I don't know, I'm not sure. It, it's probably done very little miles and it's half a price, well it's probably less than half a price. Mileage of 9,696. So it's essentially then, it's a new van isn't it? And it's a three and a half ton van. So it's essentially a new van? Yeah. Because it's only done, you know, it's a diesel engine. Only just running, I'd say. And you've got your in. control panel again. Correct up there. me if I'm wrong. You have. Little cooker, three burner, that's quite good, quite nippy. Normally have two and I lift it in a smaller van, don't you? Yeah, and then obviously you sink. Yeah, I don't know. Looks good. And you've got your oven sink. at the bottom and obviously your fridge freezer. No microwave. Is it not one Do you in need there? a microwave? Not really. No. We never used we never one. Used on. Right guys, so we'll see you at the next van. Back again to going around. So you've got some down here. A lot of these look like they've already been sold. They do. Um, you come round, this is a 19 plate. So that's quite a bit newer than the 66 that we've just been looking at. So again, so that's it. I mean, this has done 13,000 miles. For an extra four grand. And it's... Um, it says it's three and a half ton, two berth, two seat belts. It is in this one. Beto Peugeot. Peugeot, a little bit of a cheaper brand. You've got lovely seats on the side. Comments. It's quite fun coming and looking at these when you know nothing at all about them. So this, as you can see, the back's like the the doors closer to the back of the van. Yeah, it is. Keen on having carpet. Ah, this is it. This is your layout. Is that the way out that this you will? This is the layout. Oh, it's not carpet. It's me. So you got some nice. No, settees. there's no overhead bed. No, but you've got two single beds here. Yeah. Or it slides across into a double. Yeah, I know that. Well, a super king size. Or if this had an overhead bed. Look at all the work space you got. You tell you there. Workspace, you need to put chopping board over that. Take people, uh, James, what is that? That's a microwave, it's a day wheel. Loads of storage you in want this. To show people, I would James. have this over any of them. James, James, do you want to show people inside the thing? Yeah. It's on recording all Oh, there we are. Try not to tip them over. Uh, epic bathroom. We've got little toilet. Well, it's even got a flush thing on it. Sink. And not a bad, not a bad shower to be fair. That's quite. That's nearly a full size shower for a camper van. And a cute little shower head. How cute's that? Epic. So, yeah, them this two is... C's. Bang them into a king size bed. It's bizarre. But, but if this was a four berth with the bed above the top, yeah, then you would never need to make that up with me and you. Well, no, but I'm just saying. You know, this for, is the sort of layout that this we This is the after. similar sort of layout we'd like an above bed, but you know, I'd be happy with this at 54 grand. It's a bargain, this is. Bargain? Bargain looking at some of them. Especially for age. I mean, 19 plate, that's only what, four years old? Well, then old? again, for, for an extra 10 grand, you can have a, a lot new one with a lot more gadgets in it if you're into that sort of thing. And if you've got an extra 10 grand, we ain't got 10p this week. So you've got all your things. Just in keep here. spending money, people. On crap. I don't know what you're on about, look. There you are. I'm going to pass you over to the woman. Oh, another workspace. Look at this. Want a sandwich? Anybody want a sandwich? I'll make you a sandwich. Hey, burger bar out at the door at the van. Now you're stuck in there, aren't you? Oh, I broke it, haven't I? Oh, shit. I think you have to press them both down at the same time, love. So, yeah, um, a really, really nice van. And to be honest, not a bad price on that one. No alloys on it though. Is that Standard wheel trims. Terrible. Cheap. So again, we're going to look around. So this is an 18 at 60. You've got a 20 and this looks more like the A-class ones, but that's 109. Well, some of them aren't A-class, some of them you're okay to, you know. You to can, drive. Yeah. So this is um, 71. Then you've got 70 plate at 64, 20 plate at 62. So now I think what we're going to have to do is like struggle to show you everything. So that's a few of them guys. We're going to walk around and pick a few to show you the insides of. So we've just finished at Loudon's. 
and we noticed on the way in that there was another one just first we pulled in can't remember the name of it so we will show you on video um and we'll go and have a look at some down there as well why not why we're here boys you're coming out to Loudon. we should turn left and it is literally just down the road looking for traffic see which is the garage see if we can get a space on this busy road They do do the a little bit older ones, shall we say. We have got a 17 plate um, that's up at 51 and a 19 plate at 51. Um, so we're going to have a look around here, see what kind of thing there is here and see if we can show you a few that are on this side as well. We are inside this one, guys. This is a hobby and Hi. it's Fiat up at 48.99 Fiat Sachet and it's 14 plate. But look at the trim that's inside this one. So 49 grand. Smells like leather too. It's, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I think we've just got two single beds. Which is fine, love. I don't need to sleep with you. <laughs> then you've got... It's a long journey here, though. An end bathroom. So you've got a full kitchen. Full kitchen. Full shower, sink and toilet. You have... Just look at the trim, all the extra. James has got to think about how he keeps sitting in the spare seats when he'd be in front. Yeah, no, well, they're not very really comfy anyway. And if you want to relax, you can't really relax on here. Well, no, you'd be playing board games, kid, love. It's uh, it's German built, isn't it, really? So you Germans must have really hard arses. Oof. But no, absolutely lovely trim. Now you've got your boards up here. Where... In your opinion. I like it. Not in my opinion, I don't like it. That's all right. Who says I'd buy it with you? Kind of put it here and there. I've got some panel band ones. This one's sold. That one's quite nice. That's an automatic. 19 plate at 56. Then you've got this one, which is another automatic on an 09 plate at 41. And at the end, you've got another one, it's 35 and it's a 57. But they are done out, basically like motorhomes inside. You've got your um, seats in the front. I don't think you'll be able to see in there, guys. Oh, don't see. Third. Now look what you've gone and done. James has killed the mood. James, what did you do? Oh. The roundup of this site, love, and that's the um, web page. If you want to have a look at what the stock they've got in. Um, See you back in the van. So, just be round two. So, if that's then, in, where's that? Same side, I think, just the opposite side. So, um, we've just done the four leisure, and obviously Loudoms we've done as well. Next door, there is a motorhomedepot.com. We're not going to go there, we can't be bothered. Yeah. No, they didn't look like they've got a huge amount. Um, so, we're just going to head 
um, home. home back home now. What? Um, we just wanted to give you a bit of like what our thoughts are on that. So I understand now why people are making their own vans, why they do, they're actually like self-building vans. I mean, 55 grand for a motorhome. For an older motorhome. Yeah, and that's it, and they are like older motorhomes. I, I don't think Lardham's all that full is really catered for the everyday per person. The trouble or, or is, is it just that no, motorhomes no. are so expensive now anyway? Yeah, they're expensive and not just that. You can't, if it's anything like cars, you can't get finance on it if it's over like 10 year old, can you? And they it's something that you have to get finance on. I mean, when we were first looking at our van, we saw a motorhome, I can't remember what age it was, but that was up at 20 grand. And because it was over 10 years old, they said we had to go and get our own loan if we wanted so, which it. So which is a problem for us, but for a lot of for people, a lot of people a it would be. And the, the thing is, when you go to a show, a show place like that, all of them have got to be under 10 year old because they want you to use their finance. So... Thoughts on that? Yeah, what are, you, what are your thoughts? I mean, we would love our boat home and eventually that's what we will get. We're quite happy with this battleship at the moment, bless her. We are. Um, but it is, I can see why people go out and buy a box standard van and do it themselves to how they want it. Because to be honest with you, there wasn't any, any boat home in there that had the layout that I wanted. None of them. They were all the wrong layout. I want the, the top of the bed that drops down um, and... Do you want a camera on the road? Or yes, on, you? on the road. Oh, so you're talking to them while they're watching the road? Yeah. Oh, okay. Silly. Anyway, so, they seem to be queuing here, that's fine. Um, on that note guys, we hope you enjoyed this video, a bit different for us, but we thought we'd have a bit of a change for you. Um, and we'll want you to subscribe, like and all of that malarkey, ring your bell. Um, and we'll catch you like in the next one. Like or dislike, one. it doesn't matter which. Yeah, it doesn't matter which. We want to know so we which. Know where yeah, we're we want to know which videos you're actually enjoying watching. So by all means, dislike if it's not something you think that you'd like us to do again. Um, click, click dislike. We need to know what you guys want to watch. So feel free to do that. We've got no problems with that. And always comment because comments are just funny. I like comments. I do. I get said dead excited. So and we'll we'll catch you in the next one.